Are you a 26 year old truck driver that is in this never ending work comp case? I think you should watch this video. When you watch this video, check out the sheer amount of work I do before I even touch the patient and stay tuned till the end and see how things work out. My name is Harley. Well, I, I age? 26. And how, where do you live? Fresno, California. And how long take you to get here? About maybe six months. Six months? But how long drive? Let's drive down here. Oh, the drive? About four hours. And what do you do for work again? A truck driver. A truck driver. And so tell us about this work comp case. He, uh, 2016, around Christmas, he had a work comp case that has been open and shut so far. But tell us about this, sir. Yeah, at first they tried to deny me by my claim because I took two weeks off. I thought I would be better to come back to work and then I know I couldn't. So then that's when I filed the claim. And what was the claim for? Uh, back injury. Back injury from doing what? Heavy lifting. What was the pain? Oh, uh, immediately. Just uh, instant numbness down my right leg, sciatica. It was crucial. MRI, a neurology test. Neurology test? Yeah. What did they find in the MRI? Did they tell you what they found? Uh, possible yeah. disc herniation, disc bulge on L3, L4, L4, L5. Yeah, gotcha. And so what did they do for treatment for you the whole time? Uh, they sent me to do physical therapy. And then at the physical therapy, it helped a little bit. And I was doing chiro at the same time, and then um, acupuncture. Gotcha. And so, um, why are you here if all that worked, right? Oh yeah, no, it didn't work. Uh, they want to do surgery. They want to do a disectomy. Gotcha. And why did you refuse to? I'm curious. Um, just I knew it was going to be surgery at the surgery until I got to um, infusions and all that. So How did you learn that. about this? Um, YouTube. Uh, looking it up on the website. Gotcha. So why don't you tell us uh, about how this has affected your life? What has this stopped you from doing? Oh yeah, going. To, I used to go on vacations all day, every day. Now what what kind of vacations? Like what kind of vacations? Disneyland, um, Universal Studio, Pismo Beach. Because why? Because it's fun, right? Oh yeah. And why can't you go to Disneyland? What's wrong with Disneyland? The walk. As soon as I start walking, immediately I gotta sit down. So no matter how much you want to go, you can't walk across Disneyland. Oh no, I'll faint. You think, think, why think? It's so much pain that I can't, it takes my breath away. I used to train a lot. I used to do... Weightlifting too? Yeah. You can't Wait. go to the gym either? No, I can't do Muay Thai, I can't do nothing. Muay Thai, how long did you do that, how long did that for? I did that, I did that for about eight years. Now, how has this affected your family life? Are you able to wake up and help and engage with your daughter? No, it is. I struggle a lot because my girl has to pick her up a lot. I can't pick her up when she's crying. Oh, when I was feeding her, she, she wouldn't be crying move so i have to give it to my because girl. why because it hurt just to feed your baby oh yeah yeah, yeah. my back too much pressure she's yeah. getting bigger every day yeah. so so the big question we all want to know if your back's so bad how did you have sex enough to have this baby oh no that's not a problem <laughs> <laughs> that's not the issue no, no, no. yeah i throw my back out every day i'm gonna tell you from my perspective get the hell out of work comp work comp is a plague on the system it does not help you. You can't come to a doctor like me. And the reason you can't, because the system keeps you from that. Exactly. And so the worst part about it is you make a little bit of money, just enough to get by, but not enough to have fun, and you're in pain the whole time. Yeah. So That's it true. sucks. That's true. That's so anyways, true. look all that crap up. You can prove me wrong if you want, but everybody who comes to me, I'll go, are you on your work comp case? Well, yeah. I go, why? <gasps> because I'm in pain. Well, how long have you been on it? Four years. I go, again, you'll never get out of pain unless you get off the system. Get out of work comp. The state will love you and I can help you. Any pain right here when you lay here? No, no, low back. Low back? Just tense. Yeah, tense? On a scale of 110, how bad is it when you lay down there? Uh, probably a five. Five? I'm going to lift your leg. I'm going to lift the injured side first. Actually, I'll lift the uninjured side first and you tell me what you feel, okay? I don't care about the back of your leg. I care about if you have any back pain. Right there. You have back pain? Uh, yeah. Man, you, can you guys see this? His hamstrings are so freaking tight. Yeah. Okay, how about this? Uh, Problem there at all? Crush your leg. How about that? Okay. Okay, now I want to take this slowly, okay? Don't help. No, don't help. Any pain there? Right. Right there. This is what, 20 degrees, guys? So I'm going to go a little more. Even more pain, right? Gotcha. I'm going to pull this down. Yeah. Net, more pain? Good. And I bend this this way. Pain there at all? I'm gonna cross his legs. There it all. 
Get your hands on the ground, please. Good. Whoa, ho, ho. Come here, take a look at this. Can you see his back? Can you see this on the camera? No, no, just go back further back. Can you see how his butt's over here? And his shoulders over here? Does that, can you pick that up on camera at all? How it's like this? Can you see that on camera at all? Good. And so this is an antalgic position, guys. So this is a very normal position for somebody who has a really hot low back because his body is twisting inside to avoid pain. That's a subconscious thing. And every time you try to change that yourself, you can't do it. Because why? Because this body is is adapting to the pain. And you can see it. Look at how twisted it is. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, he walks sideways. Okay, good. So I'm going to push you back to what you feel. Which one's worse, left or right? Right? Okay. How bad right here? I guess he feels that right there. I'm going to check one more place in your low back here. How about that one? Not as bad? Interesting. I'm pushing on L3 right now. So L5 is really hot back right there. Gotcha. Let's check up here. How about that one? A little bit. On the left here. Okay, let's check your neck. Which one's worse? Right or left side? This one or this one? Both. Both? Which one's both both same? Now we check this versus down here. Obviously this is worse, right? Is that worse? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and sit up, please. I'm going to pay you back there, sir. Right there, Tim. That's a tan on the back now? Yeah. Got your glass tan up? Maybe from the food. Oh, uh, you need to go. Okay, back like this, sir. All right. How much pain there? That was probably like a seven. Seven, stand up, yeah. please. Now, spread your uh, feet closer together. Feet closer. More close, more close. Good. Now, squat as much as you can. Make sure you get this ace. How much pain in your back? About six. Gotcha, stand up. Anything in the knees at all? No. Can you stand up on your toes real quick? Stand up on your toes five seconds. No, without grabbing the door. Just stay up there. No, 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 no. Fall, dude. What's wrong? Wait. I think. Uh, Are you 75 years old with terrible balance? Nah, yeah, you know what it is. Uh, <laughs> let me go one leg. One leg? Try one leg. <laughs> okay, you guys put them down. Put them down. Same or different from side to side? Palms like this. Good. Set. 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 Same? Gotcha. Different. How's the right side? Do it again. I think I felt it less. Less, gotcha. Less. 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 That one? So this one's less. Yeah. Gotcha. Pull your pant legs up a little more. Pull your pant legs up. Let's check one more spot here. I felt it more right here. Yeah, less on the side. Yeah. So that's L3, guys, and that's L4 down here. Okay, so that's what we're checking. And so his herniated disc is L3, L4, and so it corresponds perfectly to that. Okay, come over here, sir. Harley, good, like this. Just kind of stand there. Are you trying to stand as straight as you can? Yeah. Good. So you guys see how twisted he is? Yeah. So look how twisted he is. Okay? So let's go back on the over here. Okay, go back, please. There you go, now back. Good, right there. Don't be straight, just relax, relax, relax. Can you guys see how twisted he is? It's really twisted. Good. Let's see. Okay. Now come over here too. Camera. And look at look at he can't even put his legs, can't even put his legs straight. And he has to spread his legs down here just because his feet hurt so much. And so uh, a lot, a lot of pain this guy's in. Here are the results of the x-rays. A 38 millimeter right imbalance and a 14 degree scoliosis. Here we have a 10 degree scoliosis, a nine millimeter right short leg. Here we have an inverted alice, pretty horrible, worst neck reversal ever, and an inverted low back, and we've never seen that usually, and constipation. Good. So how long can you stand here for? Go ahead and stand a second. Stand. How long can you stand like that? Probably about like a minute. A minute? Yeah. Gotcha. So let's stand like this for a minute and see how you do. And then we'll walk you one more time in the hall. And so what happens as you stand there for a minute? Start slowly going forward. Why is that? For the release the pain. Release the pain? Yeah. And gotcha. And when you start slowly, when you slowly lean forward, what does that do to your pain? Decreases a little bit, right? Yeah, decreases a little bit. Now what happens after another minute though? I start touching walls. Yeah, why? Just to, it's released really a little bit of pain, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you can't do it. Yeah. So let's see how you do this. 
And how often does this happen? Every day, right? For the last yeah. couple of years? Yeah. That has been getting worse or staying the same or getting better over the last two years? It was it was good. It was getting better and then it got worse again. Got worse again. Yeah. So, um, how do you feel right now? Right now I feel pain. Crucial pain. And what what number are you at right now? Like a nine. Like well, a nine. Ten right now. Like ten? Yeah. Just give me ten more seconds. I don't want you to try not to grab the wall. We're gonna have you walk one more time. We wanna get this on camera, what you really do. Okay? And this happens at the grocery store, right? Walmart, Costco. Yeah. Just... I gotta, I gotta hang on the cart and lean forward. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. How about when you push the stroller? Is, is the baby pushing you, or are you pushing the baby? Uh, <laughs> if she can walk, man, yeah. that'd be better. Now you've been to the chiropractor before. How many times? Once, twice, twenty times, forty times, forty. Yeah. Forty, forty, really? Yeah. You said forty? Yeah. And just one or different chiropractors? Uh, there was two. At the same practice? Uh, no, different. Oh, you went, so you changed? I went to one in Omni. Yeah. And then I went to a chiropractor, like his own. He put me on the DRX. The DRX? That's the traction stupid thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then... It feels good when you're on it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really good, right? It's a piece of crap, guys. And so you can spend a lot of money on it and not get anywhere. It's just a symptom reliever. It doesn't fix your problem. So he has a high reverse curve in his neck. And... Uh, and his atlas is smashed up against his occiput. We call it an inverted atlas. And like I said, I'll go over that with you guys in a second. And so none of this will get fixed by any other chiropractor because they don't focus on the right thing. Good. You jumped on that one. <laughs> it took my breath out. Yeah, I didn't know you were such a... No, it took your breath out wide, sir. I uh, just snap so, crack. So, so snap crack? Have you ever heard that come out of your neck before? Never. Gotcha. Woo-wee! <laughs> Tell us what you felt on that, sir. Uh, so much snap crack will pop. In your neck, right? Yeah. We're going to lift Harley up real easily here, and we're going to remind him not to twist and turn or what? he will undo my work. Why? Because the more he challenges his body, the more his body wants to go back to the way it was. So we're gonna sit down and listen to how he's doing. He's a little distressed right now. You can see him kind of trying to figure things out. Let's listen in, see what's going on. Yeah, not right now. Okay, so dizzy at all? No. Okay, we're gonna walk in a second. Most important thing with walking is keep your eyes straight, arms down, no messing around, okay? okay. Let the body change without you forcing it. This is really important for somebody like Harley. His balance is so off. And so we're sending him to the hall to what? Recalibrate. That neck adjustment is spreading through his out his body and it is changing his body. So let's listen in and see how his second impression is. Maybe from right here. Okay. What? More, more straighter. Okay. Just asking you. You don't have to make anything up. I'm just kind of no. curious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just stay here for a second, okay? Remember when we um, were sat here a minute ago? He stood here, stood here for a minute, and he couldn't stand here much longer, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just see how he's doing by standing here. So, pain increasing yet? Uh, yeah, just a little bit pain. Yeah. Gotcha. A little back. <clears throat> just breathe in your nose. Good. Okay. I'm just kind of curious right off the bat. We're gonna take a look at this. So we're just about 20 seconds in right now. So, um, how's the pain? Don't look at me, don't look at me, look at the camera. I don't want him twisting, guys, because twisting is going to undo my work. I think last time you were starting to... Don't bend. look at me, yeah, don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, starting to bend, look this yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. So, tell us what you feel right now. When you start, are you going to be, are you dying? No, just I feel the pain right I here. get you feel the pain there, but yeah. how about compared to last time? No, I'm not leaning forward yet. Yeah. And would you have been leaning forward by now? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Would you be starting to grab the wall in a minute here? Oh, yeah. How do you feel right now? I feel okay. A little different, right? Yeah. How much better is this than before? Just curious. Just off the top of your head, it could be 5%, 10%. I'm just mm -hmm. kind of curious what you're... Don't look I at like me. like a 5%. Gotcha. So let's go back in the room. That was a 10 a minute ago. What is that now? Uh, yeah, still. Still 10? Yeah. Gotcha. Go and stand up. You can go back this way now. No, Still a seven? Yeah. Or an eight? What is that? 
Seven, eight? No, seven. Seven? Yeah. Can I put your feet together? Squat. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurt? What do you got? That one's an eight. That's an eight? Yeah. So, uh, last one. Go ahead and lean to your right. That was a little lighter, but not much. This is a tough one. This is hard. Um, he, everybody usually responds really well to this. He's fighting it. You can see he can stand longer, but the pain is pretty great. So we're gonna have him move around. He's coming back tomorrow morning. We'll get more, um, more on him. I think rest is gonna help, but yeah, it's tough.